Let me talk about your character here in Priest, because I don't—I've never read the graphic novel, so I don't know a lot about it. Just really briefly, uh, your character. In uh, I play a character called Black Hat, um, and he is a uh, fallen warrior priest. Uh, the warrior priests are a uh, a group of individuals whose job it was to defeat the vampires in the vampire-human war. Vampires in our film are monsters. They are a formidable beasts. They're not stereotypical uh, Dracula-esque vampires. My character, however, is the first of his kind. He is the first crossbreed, uh, the first human vampire. So I spent fighting alongside. At the beginning, I f fighting alongside him, and, and then a certain chain of events uh, finds me on the opposite side of that coin. And you know, I spend the entire film wreaking. Um, Destruction and chaos, and uh, that's a perfect part. You get to play both the good uh, and the bad yeah, the, the, guy. That's the, perfect. The bad guys are the ones that are so much fun to play. They stand on that precipice and they're unblinking, and um, you know the conviction for which they they carry through what they uh, do is. Uh, is, uh, is, is, is polarizing. But even when you're playing a good guy, like when you're playing Bones, mm. you've got such a different twist on the characters that mm. it, you bring so much more to it than just the typical, you know, nice guy role. And I, and I know like in your role in Red, mm -hmm. you're just pretty much a straight up badass mm -hmm. in that, right? Yeah, well, you know, I think that it's, um, you'd be doing a disservice if you didn't imbue your characters with with faults or um, you know with a dimensionality that was in, that was just uh, you know kind of uh, uh, you know devoid of um, of dirt under the fingernails if you know what I mean what else are you working on what else do you have coming up um, no that is uh, IMDB has a lot of incorrect information it's impossible that never happens it never happens but Final Destination I am not part of there's a movie on there called um, Relentless, which I will never do, is not part of that. There's a movie on there called Hired Guns, which I will not do and never part of that. However, there is a rumor circulating that I have been offered the role of Judge Dredd. And, yeah, and I can confirm that I am inclined to do it. And this will be radically different than the previous Judge Dredd film, I'm sure, that, that came out years ago with Stallone. Uh, this new Judge Dredd is in no way, shape or form related to the film that was made in 1994. Uh, it is going to be gritty, hardcore, uncompromisingly faithful to the source material. Uh, we have the creator, John Wagner, on board as creative consultant, along with Jock, who is one of the chief artists uh, involved in creating Dredd. Um, Were you always a Dread fan? You, yeah, you, you know, I, I, I was reading Dread, uh, you know, 25 years ago, I did, uh, you know, when I was a teenager working in a, uh, in a, in a, in a, in a pizza shop in, in Wellington. So for me to get given the opportunity to play such an iconic and enigmatic character uh, is, uh, is a privilege and a, pr and a pleasure. And, and I just really feel quite elated for the fans of Dread who are finally after 40 years going to get the film they so richly deserve. Has he changed a lot as a character uh, after all these years? I mean, it, I, cannot, I, I cannot comment on the specifics of the story. Right. Uh, suffice to say uh, that... Um, Will you shoot people in this movie? But maybe, is that a spoiler? <laughs> like, if you know Judge Dredd, you know, you, you know, you, you know his M.O. Have they been talking about uh, like a Judge Dredd 3D? Is are they going to go in that direction? You think? Uh, yes, I believe so. That's correct. It will be shot in 3D. Oh, cool. Right on. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot for your time.